coronal fins. This patient was having bilateral flank pain with raised crit and raised GLC. So, the indication of CT was bilateral flex and flank pain, and we were suspicious that there may be bilateral ureteric or renal stones. Starting from the start, in this film, the left kidney is appearing uh, starting from this slide here. Left kidney, we can go down here. Uh, the pelvic fullness appears here in the slide. Here, the pelvic fullness. Proper hardware push on this side and on this side as well. And a small amount of pelvis that is extra in and pelvis. Okay. Hydrony process, hydro ureter on both sides. These are ureters that appear in uh, the slide. Coming down, the radium back shadow, which is in the proximal ureter below uh, the level of the uh, kidney, it appears here. So the proper uh, radio back shadow in one slide and in two slides. Okay. Coming on this side downwards. A similar radio peg shadow appearing in the um, uh, ureteric outline on this side as it on the left side. So these were the coronal coronal fins. Coronal fin. Now sagittal fin. You will see the sagittal fins for those radio peg shadows in this slide. Proximal ureteric stone. Proximal uh, on the right side. Mid. Okay. Which is a proximal. Okay. Proximal ureteric. And here is a radio peg shadow on the left side. So it uh, is the area of the mid ureter. So bilateral uh, ureteric stone on the left, uh, uh, right side. This one proximal. And left side. This one which is uh, mid ureter. Mid -ureter. Causing bilateral hydro ureteral necrosis. For the plane of this patient to be bilateral stenting or bilateral URS. And uh, you for the this is a typical okay. case where the this is a typical case where uh, the stone is causing uh, proximal dilation and distal collapse. Uh, distal collapse.